And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Darius Thresh. It's going to be our first deck of the day. We have four brand new donation decks again today. Uh, this one is going to be an aggressive, mostly Shadow Isles, but splashing Noxus deck with Thresh and Darius. And we're going to be playing the brand new card that goes along with Darius, Apprehend. Two mana stun an enemy if you have a Darius Rally. This is going to be our first time playing this card. So it'll be pretty interesting to try that out. Um, as far as other new cards, of course, we have Unspeakable Horror in here. Instead of Vile Feast, where um, we can drain one from anything, including the enemy's Nexus. And we can create a random Nightfall card in hand if it's Nightfall. Um, then we also have Stalking Shadows. This card is just amazing. Um, this is like one of the, the main reasons to play Shadow Isles these days is how good this Stalking Shadows card is. And it's particularly good with Doom Beast, um, new unit that uh, we can get multiple copies of and drain the enemy Nexus multiple times. So it'll be interesting playing a deck with Thresh. Um, and so a bunch of little units that uh, are going to be dying quite a bit and uh, leveling up Thresh, but then also trying to get them to 10 or less. Play a Darius, rally with Darius with the Apprehend, and finish the job. We also have Atrocity Darius, which uh, does a good job of finishing the game as well. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked, so let's go ahead and get right at it and kick it off. We're playing against Fiora Tarek to start the day. Okay, we are going to have the attack token on turn three, and Blighted Caretaker is amazing. So I do want to keep that card, but let's look for some earlier stuff, some things to sacrifice to it. Looks like we got a Warden's Prey. Of course, our best card to get is Cursed Keeper to go along with Caretaker. It's always a great combo. This is this is just going to be a glimpse beyond. I kind of wanted this to make the the zero mana O one um, that we could play that and then and play caretaker the next turn. I don't have anything great to play. We'll just play the thorny toad. Save this mana. By my honor, you must die. So we could try to noxion fervor the Fiora. Well, I mean, obviously, I'm definitely doing it now. Zenith Blade. I think they attack. I don't want them just to pass the turn and then I waste my opportunity to play this unspeakable horror with Nightfall. So it looks like they would have passed the turn. All right, Stalking Shadows. I will take Blighted Caretaker. We got a lot of Blighted Caretakers. I thought they said this climb would be a challenge. Uh, is it not a challenge? News to me. Everyone's a garden. Follows. 
mean, Dust Collider's not too bad. It's not too bad. We'll figure out a way to use it. GG's, that's a good way to use it. Looks like my opponent was a little on tilt with the um, the Noxion Fervor killing the Fiora. It's also possible that it's possible they didn't have any more units and they just had a whole bunch of spells and they didn't have anything to play and support and they were sad and want to go on to the next game. I suppose. Aurelian Soul with Fiora? Hmm. Okay. Definitely mulliganing Doom Beast. I want to keep these two. Ugh. Those are not two good ones to see. We obviously want to have something to play the first couple of turns. Yep, we want Curse Keeper and one drops. So there's eight total Curse Keeper and one drops in the deck. I do not think that you should cut Caretaker to two. I think this is just strange that we've drawn every all the Caretakers all the time. Caretaker was very good last game. That's a very good card. What's up, Penguin? I mean, I, I kept it in my opening hand for a reason. I could have mulliganed it. Oh, it's not really doing anything. Do 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 do. Ours is the one true light. This is a spot where Vile Feast would be better than Unspeakable Horror. Where we'd be able to Vile Feast the, the soldier, get a uh, get a spider to be able to kill with the caretaker. What's up, Penguin? Hope you're doing well. Devotion to battle. Remember the objectives. Just gonna play this thing as a two-three. Strike at their foundation. Have something out here. So you can still be a two-three that does two damage. On a break. Nice, nice. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. No mercy for heretics. Warriors end. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Okay. Well, that's not so great. Hmm. If I put Noxion Fervor on the stack first, strike quickly, strike. And like if I do this, which one? Obviously, I want to do it like this, but will it? If I do that, okay, yeah. So then it does have the Nightfall turned on. Okay, that's what I was gonna. That's what I was gonna bas basically be asking about is if Nightfall would be turned on or not. Cool. We need to make some Nightfall cards. Get us some more cards like that. RV. Ah! 
Harvey. Stop. This will be quick. Okay, so end result. We didn't get anything out of the, the fervor, but you know, like end result, Fiora's gone. Um, we've used an extra two mana than they have. Is my mic on? Okay, yeah, my mic's on. I'm sorry, I was, had to do some muting and stuff because of Harvey barking. But end result, um, you know, we ended up with two extra cards than what they had. I'm not making that attack. Last turn. I got all this mana. Like, best case scenario for us, like, isn't even really that great. Even fast. Oh, that's a 5 6. Hmm. Basically, I'm. Hmm. 5 6 is worrisome. I will admit. Really, Harvey? Hey, Giovanti. <laughs> this is so awkward. Uh, I can't cast... Alright, so I can't cast Blighted Caretaker. I can't cast Ravenous Butcher. I definitely don't want to cast Atrocity. Um... You know, Cygnus is, this is not a good time to play Cygnus, so we're looking at what I can play Doom Beast. <laughs> it's the only card I can actually play right now. Alright. I can't can't cast anything else. Man, they just love passing. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty poor hand. I agree. Alright, that's one unit dying for Thresh. My plan is to challenge the 3-2, but not to challenge the Yeah, I wasn't planning on attacking with everything. Um, yeah, Judgment would have been awful, but... So is this. Like their cards are a little better than mine. Single combat and concerted strike with these dragons is really awesome. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. So I had all, all of that I wish I would have just passed also. I wish I would have just kept atrocity available. And just passed as well and just done nothing. Gosh, this is just such an awkward hand. I mean the sickness was just, you know, created a free card created, but just double atrocity. Ugh. I I should have just passed and kept up atrocities. That's what I needed to do.
No, 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 no! Another Darius. Another Darius isn't going to be killing them. They're at 20 with multiple dragons. I am so, so sorry. His hands have been pretty ugly. I'm either mulliganing... I'm mulliganing these three cards. Do y'all think I should mulligan the Thrash? Um... I'll keep Thrash. Could get one of our one drops. Not a one drop, a double curse keeper, pretty nice. It's unfortunately gonna be a little slow. ramp. There you are. I just have to kill these things. I wish I would have just played the the regular cursed keeper, not the one with the rav not ravenous breath. Or Leave them the ravenous butcher, not ravenous butcher one. Hmm. So, of course, they're going to be using that with Ravenous Flock. Uh, that does get rid of a card that was going to easily... Um, you know, that, that Death's Hand was going to easily save something from my Blighted Caretaker. Hopefully this works.
sacrifice must be made. Victory Guess not. Harvey. Yeah, I understand the likelihood is Swain's going to open attack. Then that's the likely scenario here. Hits me for seven down to twelve. They are just at three cards. We know one of their three cards is costs eight plus mana. Do you know that? Um. Darkness hides in my path. Oh, what's that noise? You need Doom Beast. Not too bad. I'm, you know, I'd rather see that than Leviathan in their hand. Um, guess I should have saved that two mana. Don't like any option. Okay, so of course that's going to stun um, some things. That's going to put me down to 11. Um, it's going to stun this thing anyway. Ugh, that hurts. At least they can't play another Decimate. It's gonna make my Darius 10 power. And now we'll have Darius plus Atrocity. Um, should be able to kill them. So I think we have this, but we'll see.
I mean, I guess it's wor worse to go to combat because of Whirling Death. If they just randomly have Whirling Death, it's not a card that I'm expecting them to have at all. But I guess that would be the one reason not to go to combat. The reason to go to combat is maybe they don't block. All right, two and one. We have done well. Noxus is proud. Yeah, what if Darius is new? What if they change Darius's champion spell to be apprehend? That would be pretty sweet. That was a good win, because they had they had an awesome hand, and we didn't actually get to do very much damage to them at all, besides, you know, just spells doing nexus damage. Um, right, like the last 15 damage we did was all spells and probably some of the other 5 damage, I don't remember though. Yeah, after, yeah, Atrocity after looking silly the game before won that game. Uh, it's just this, okay, basically the same matchup. Maybe I don't keep Light of Caretaker. I mean, Black Caretaker was awesome for us that last round of, of killing all those O2s and really slowing them down. Looks like, you know, basically Noxus, Tribal, Splashing, Trundle. As opposed to the previous... Where are you? <clears throat> the previous deck. Everyone's a garden. That was like Frail Yord Ramp, Splashing, Swain. down to 15. Let's keep the keep getting that damage in. A couple demolitionists could put them down to well, that's rough. Could put them down to 11. Uh, which is not good enough for Darius. Hmm, nothing's going to hurt. City Breaker's awesome. Ow. So we could... I mean, the play is Darius. Is the hand of Noxus. Your command, yeah, I mean, the play is Darius. Especially with having Rekindler. Patience. Grow up so fast. Nope. Try it again. There we go. <clears throat> Gots to attack. Tread carefully. Over there. 
That resulted in them taking a lot of damage. Down to five. Best draw step right now would be... Don't really need to play that. Would be Noxion Fervor. What's up, Noxion Fervor? These are Remember the objectives. Make the Empire proud. Bow to your king! Lightning flows! Scurry, weakling. Or rock and stone. All right. Let's give it a try. So they're going to... Okay, so their plan was to elixir of iron both of these. That's why they wanted to keep the storm claw around, because allies with 5 plus power would have overwhelm. And so they wanted to Elixir of Iron those and give them Overwhelm with the Stormclaw. So that's why they didn't trade Stormclaw last game, or last turn. That's why they didn't trade the Stormclaw for the Darius. And, you know, ended up taking all that damage. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, their their deck worked out like it was trying to, right? Like City Breaker enables Stormclaw to be able to play be played on turn five with Plunder. Um, all right, try again. That's better. We have a one drop. We have a one drop. Petty officer. Or Dreadway Deckhand, that's what I meant. Tis always Dreadway Deckhand when they don't play anything on turn two and pass. No twisted fate. They didn't have the best card for once. We're not used to that happening around here. We're used to them having the best card. All of the time. Every time. Be nothing left when I'm done. <sighs> Kinda wanna just play this and kill the powder keg. And just drain one right now. Well, we have Nightfall turned on, and, you know, like, one of those mana is going to go away. So it's, we're really only spending one mana on that card. I mean, I guess I could be just draining one from upstairs. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, maybe that's what I was supposed to do. I think I made the right call. 
tool. down to seven and we have um, nine points of burn in hand darn I was gonna say it's pretty likely that's gonna work that you know like they basically have to have another ravenous block for that not to work Than they did. By my hand, the Noxus rise. For the Empire. Because it's a lot easier to kill like these one health things. Shark Chariot. I wish I would if I would have just drained the one from them. That could be the difference. I mean, I would I would do that in auction fervor again. They already played one flock, so like they'd have to have a you know a second flock. Every everything else is easier to kill with death's hands and and uh, make it rains and. Um, you know, like that kind of stuff, like their own Nocturne Fervors or whatever. Um, even though, like, that, that target died to Ravenous Walk, it's still... Uh, worth it to do that, in my opinion. Alright, GG's. Okay, nice little 4-1. Didn't start off. Oh, not start off okay, but you know we had our rocky moments, um, but a lot of reach, a lot of nexus damage. Um, Doom Beast was awesome. Noxion Fer fervor. Talking Shadows is just such a great card. This card was incredible for us for sure. This really like, you know, basically being a two mana draw to every single time, and the ephemeral didn't matter because we could just kill off that whatever unit was going to be ephemeral. A lot of times it was Curse Keeper. Warden's Prey, Hapless Aristocrat, like that kind of stuff. Like it was going to die anyway. We get to just go with Demolitionist um, or Noxion Fervor um, or uh, Blighted Caretaker. You could just do whatever, want, anything like that, Ravenous Butcher, on the Ephemeral thing anyway. <clears throat> Stalking Shadows was MVP for sure. Um, uh yeah, so that, that was pretty cool. We didn't get to use Apprehend, unfortunately. We did draw both of them that very last game. We didn't have a Darius and didn't really have a good spot to play a slow speed stun an enemy. So we didn't end up using that. But it would have been cool to do that. And I, I can definitely see the, the worth of having Apprehend in a deck like this. Maybe it's just a one of. And a third Doom Beast could be there. Get some more drain. Unspeakable Horror, there was like one time where Vile Feast would have been a lot better. Um, just like with Caretaker. And Vile Feast, of course, is better with Caretaker. <clears throat> but most of the time, creating the random Nightfall cards was better for us. We were creating like like the 2-3 uh, Elusive Nightfall. Created Doom Beast. Like we were creating some pretty decent Nightfall cards with this. Um, so yeah, so maybe I... Maybe I'd recommend going to one Apprehend, three Doom Beast in the future. But there we go. Darius Thresh. Pretty nice showing. Uh, those of y'all watching this video later on. Uh, wait, Cabo was saying what the idea of this deck was initially. This was Cabo's deck. Um, okay, so it was initially just an aggro deck that has a lot of reach. Yeah. Yep, so that's that's what we got here, especially with the atrocities. That that also helped get us that reach as well. All right, so anyway, those of y'all watching later on on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Darius Thresh, and I'll see you for the next video.